Another fish species here in the coastal bend is on the chopping block when it comes to facing a smaller bag limit. Yeah, according to Texas Parks and Wildlife, the proposal to change the size and the bag limit of speckled trout comes after the speckled trout species was impacted heavily from the February freeze last year. Our Alexis Green spoke with TPWD and professional anglers here in the coastal bend. She joins us now live in the studio. Alexis. Leslie Rudy, it's important to note that this is only a proposal from the TPWD, which suggests lowering the bag limit of speckled trout from five to three per person and raising the size of keepable trout from what used to be 13 to 17 inches to 17 to 23 inches. According to Texas Game Warden Laren Johnson, this proposal is still in the public comment phase and they are seeking feedback from local anglers. Now those are the same regulations we had in the emergency order that got placed right after the freeze. That was Texas Game Warden Laren Johnson, who says after several months of sampling, TPWD estimates that 3.8 million fish across 61 species were killed coastwide during the February freeze of 2021. Johnson says the speckled trout species seeing a huge decline from their historical averages. Our, our Parks and Wildlife um, Fisheries Division does not want to see um, a full closure because that would affect business, you know, small businesses, families, everything like that. The proposal is to change these regulations for the next two years in an effort to strengthen the speckled trout population in Texas Bay systems, which includes the Corpus Christi and Aransas Bay, along with the upper and lower Laguna Madre. The freeze last year uh, took away quite a bit of our population of trout, which had been building over a number of years. Uh, to one of the all time highs. Local fishing guide Joey Ferris says, although it was devastating to see such a decline in the population, the goal now is not just to build back the population to where it was. It's more of conditioning the anglers to be sportsmen instead of just a harvest of sea trout. Ferris says fishing guides might have to overcome and adapt if these new regulations do go into effect, but it's for the greater good of the fish and their longevity. But our biggest responsibility as a fishing guide is to educate our clients and let them understand that it's not about how many fish you bring home, it's the experience and how many, how many fish you touch that day and release makes you feel a lot better than hanging them up dead. Johnson says the TPWD's duty is to serve the community and they will be taking into great consideration the public feedback on this new proposal. Open public discussion begins January 11th and the Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission will vote on this matter January 26th through the 27th. Leslie Rudy, back to you. All right, Lexus, thank you.